When life is tough, Safa says there is nothing more soothing than delicate clay. For 24 years, he's made Iraqi traditional pottery using centuries-old methods. He says his family has been in the business for decades, but it's coming to an end. Because of imports and a lack of demand for our products and a lack of government subsidized fuel, our business has been declining. My family members and cousins have changed their profession. Pottery is deeply rooted in Iraq's ancient past. Families carried out the profession from generation to another for millennia, using the same ancient techniques to turn mud into kitchenware and bowls. These newly made puts and pitchers need to be left in the sun for a few days until they're dried up. They are then put here into this oven to be heated at about 1500 degrees Celsius for about 20 hours. Today, some families in the countryside still use clay tandoors for baking. But the market is being overwhelmed by cheaper puts imported from Iran. Experts say Iraq's heritage of Sumerian and Babylonian pottery manufacturing has now become more of an art practiced in academia. Pottery in Iraq dates back to 4500 BC. It was linked to spiritual rituals. In the 1950s, artists started introducing pieces imitating ancient urns and murals. Pottery is part of Iraq's cultural heritage, so even if it declines as a profession, it still flourishes as folklore. Throughout history, pottery has provided households with not only useful products, but also an archive of people's way of life in ancient times. Safa's factory has survived in an area where dozens of others have been abandoned. Yet he's the last one in his extended family left, holding on to a profession that is thousands of years old. Mahmoud Abdul Wahid, Al Jazeera, Al Nahrawan, east of Baghdad.